Hey, it's Kurt. Welcome to my channel where I review fitness products, give them a rating, then do a cost analysis to help you decide whether or not they are worth purchasing. As a reminder, I am not sponsored by any of these products and I buy them all with my own money. Today I'm reviewing a product I've wanted to review for a long time, Athletic Greens. Before I go on, I want to remind you I am not a doctor or certified nutritionist or expert of any kind in nutrition. So this is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who don't know about Athletic Greens, it is a powder supplement that mixes 75 superfoods, vitamins, minerals, probiotics, and you mix it into a 12 ounce glass of cold water every day preferably on an empty stomach first thing in the morning. Supposedly, it was designed with athletes in mind and is certified by the NSF, or National Scientific Foundation, which is an independent federal agency created by Congress to promote the progress of science, health, prosperity, and welfare, which means it's approved for use by pro athletes and Olympians. It is also a proud partner of USA Cycling. The product was founded by a New Zealander, Chris the Kiwi, after he had years of gut issues and health issues that he just couldn't get solved. Apparently, his body struggled to absorb and synthesize nutrients, and that's why he developed Athletic Greens. When I first heard about this product, I was a bit skeptical. I've taken vitamins and supplements my whole life and thought that was the best way to achieve what you needed, not by drinking some sort of powder drink. So the whole idea behind Athletic Greens and how it allows nutrients and vitamins to absorb more efficiently interested me. Since Athletic Greens has a multitude of vitamins that I don't take in a day, like enzyme and mushroom complex, superfood complex, plant extracts, herbs and antioxidants, and dairy-free probiotics, in addition to being nut-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, egg-free, and my favorite, sugar-free, I had to try it. I thought, wow, could I just drink one of these a day and be set? So if this was an easy fix, I was very excited about it. I thought the simplest way to compare Athletic Greens to what I am doing now would be to put the Athletic Greens in a test against the vitamins I take to see who wins out. Hey, sorry, quick interruption here. Can you do me a favor? Can you move your cursor up and just go over there just a little bit more? Yeah, exactly. And hit that little like button, the thumbs up. Appreciate it. Really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Okay, now let's go to what's in the box. The directions told me to mix one scoop of the powder with cold water and drink it on an empty stomach. I thought it might be best to take first thing in the morning when I wake up and get the day going. So I cleaned up the shaker, I got a pitcher of water, put in the refrigerator so it was cold in the morning and just saved it to the next day. So the next day when I first got up in the morning, I went to my kitchen and groggily got out the empty container poured 12 ounces of cold water in it, took out the package, took out a scoop, dumped it in, and shook it up. One thing you have to look out for is when you open the package, the green powder is a bit sticky and can stick to your fingers, so be careful you don't wipe your hands on your clothes. It comes off pretty easily, so you don't have to worry that much about it. Also, when you are pouring the scoop into the small bottle, the mouth of the bottle is kind of small, so the first time I did it, I dumped it in and it kind of spilled a little bit, so I would recommend recommend doing this over the sink. I was, however, pleasantly surprised that the powder mixed with the cold water quite easily. A lot of times when I have things that mix with powders, so like Laird Hamilton's Superfoods, I have to put it in a blender because it just gets clumpy. But this is really, really fine green powder, and you could just put it in the bottle and shake it up, and there were no clumps at all. So I drank it down, and it was very pleasant tasting. I could have easily drunk another 12-ounce serving. By the way, once you open the Athletic Greens package, look on the back. I missed it for the first couple days, but in very, very tiny writing, it says, refrigerate after opening. This is super important, but for some reason, it's super tiny on there. So remember to put it in the refrigerator after you've opened it. I left it out for a couple days, but it will go bad, and then you've just wasted a lot of money. One of the first things I wanted to find out about Athletic Greens was how many percentage of vitamins did it have of each vitamin. As I read through the nutritional facts, I noticed that it had many of the vitamins that I take every day, and some that I don't. But I did notice that Athletic Greens had quite a few less grams or micrograms in it than I was used to taking. Here's a list and exactly what I mean by that. 
I take 5,000 micrograms of B12, Athletic Greens had 22. I take 2,000 micrograms of vitamin C, Athletic Greens had 420. I take 268 milligrams of vitamin E, Athletic Greens had 68. There were other discrepancies like that, but I don't wanna go through them all. Although Athletic Greens had a lot of different vitamins, one thing that I noticed was missing was vitamin D, and that really stood out to me because I know vitamin D deficiency is a really important issue right now all around the world. Since we're all staying in more and we're on our computers and we're not getting sunlight, they have found that a lot of people with the illness are very, very deficient in vitamin D. And I was even very deficient in vitamin D until I saw my doctor a few years ago who told me about it. So I really wonder why they didn't have that. I thought it would be interesting to first see how Athletic Greens vitamins compare to the RDA, or Recommended Daily Allowance of Vitamins, provided by the Food and Drug Administration. I got the Recommended Daily Allowance information from an article on WebMD. I'll post that article down below as well. Here's what I found after comparing the two. In general, Athletic Greens performed very well. In fact, in many categories, it exceeded the RDA by a lot. It did fall short on some categories though. You can see it here on the supplement facts label on the back of the package. DV, or daily value percentage, is pretty much the same thing as RDA. The first vitamin on the package is vitamin A. Athletic Greens has 1850 IU, or international units, of vitamin A. To the right of that, under DV, you'll see 62%. That means Athletic Greens contains 62% of the recommended vitamin A intake per day. In order to make it 100%, you would need to either take a vitamin A supplement to make up for the 38% shortage, or find that 38% of vitamin A in the foods you eat throughout the day. When I scanned down the label, I found that Athletic Greens exceeded the RDA in things like vitamin C, but was under in places like calcium. Now let's get to the pros and cons of taking Athletic Greens and taking vitamins in the pill form every day. Here are the pros. Quick and easy to take in the morning. Mixing up 12 ounces is a snap. Enjoyable to drink. Exceeds the recommended daily allowance for most minerals and vitamins. Easy to clean the bottle and dry after use. Only have to take it once during the day and you're done. You can buy single serving packets you can travel with. Don't have to stock up on vitamins every month and worry about running out of individual ones. Here are the cons. A bit pricey, $97 for a one-time purchase and $77 a month through a subscription. And you still may need to buy supplements to reach your recommended daily allowance. Falls short on RDA of quite a few vitamins. Vitamin A, calcium, magnesium, etc. Does not include vitamin D. Now let's go to my rating system which includes price, performance, and staying power. First, the price. What is the price of this product? Is it worth the money? Let's break down the price for Athletic Greens and how much it would cost to buy the same amount of vitamins you would have to purchase to equal those nutrients. It equaled out to around $75. However, that did not include the alkaline nutrient dense raw food superfood complex or the nutrient dense extracts or the digestive enzyme and super mushroom complex or the dairy free probiotics included in the drink. Since I believe those are all proprietary to Athletic Greens, I couldn't get a price for them. I'm gonna guess and say each one would add up to about $1.50 a month. So that's $1.50 times four proprietary ingredients, which comes out to $6. So $6 plus $75 equals around $81. However, if you wanted to take the recommended daily allowance of vitamins, and since Athletic Greens falls short in some categories, you would need to buy vitamin A, vitamin D, pantothenic acid, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, selenium, copper, manganese, chromium, sodium, and potassium supplements. That would equal another $50.85. So your new total would be $77 plus $50.85 for a total cost of $127.85 a month. That means $127.85 a month for Athletic Greens and $81 a month to buy your own supplements. If you buy your own supplements, that's a savings of $46.85. At this moment, it may appear that Athletic Greens is very expensive versus buying your own supplements. And I totally understand why. Look at the numbers. But you have to consider a lot of things when it comes down to nutrition. 
And here's some that I don't want you to forget about. First, there's a lot of proprietary ingredients that go into Athletic Greens. And it is endorsed by the NSF, which is really, really hard to get endorsed by. There's all these different factors that companies have to go through to get endorsed by them. And it's used by pro athletes and backed by a lot of people that I trust. Also, if I chose not to go with Athletic Greens, I would have to find something on the market that resembles the Athletic Greens proprietary ingredients for helping gut health, manage my weight, combat stress, improve athletic endurance, and promote overall health. That in itself would be really hard to do. Another point that's important to remember is if I didn't buy Athletic Greens and I went the supplement myself route, I have to constantly buy these supplements and I have to constantly remember to take them. Usually they're two or three times a day. And sometimes life gets busy and you just forget. So is it better to have something that's easy to take in the morning that you know you may not get every single nutrient but you're pretty darn good? Or is it better to get the supplements where you have the exact recommended daily allowance everything and you know you're getting that every day. It depends really what kind of person you are, right? It's are you super meticulous or do you kind of know yourself and you think, oh, I get a little lazy and I forget sometimes. And another argument that goes on and on is what absorbs these nutrients and vitamins better? The powder liquid form or the tablet form? A lot of things that I've been reading about are saying that the powder liquid form is a lot better for absorption. So for price, even though it appears kind of expensive, which it is, I'm not saying it isn't, I'm still gonna give it a seven. A side note to this, there are other green powders like Athletic Greens that are less expensive. And I did put a link to an article down below in it so you can check them out. Now let's get to performance. What did I think of the performance of this product? I thought the performance of this product was pretty good. After reading through the website extensively and finding out how much research and certifications Athletic Greens went through to make their product, I felt very confident in it. I used it for seven days and will continue on it for the next 23. I stopped taking my other vitamins, except for D and more C tablets, to see if it would affect me. So far, so good. So for performance, I'll give it a seven. Now let's get to staying power. How long will I use this product? Am I gonna use it once and never use it again? I don't know if I'm gonna to subscribe to Athletic Greens or not. I think after 30 days, I will know more. I do know for sure that I'm gonna get some of those travel pouches. There's these little travel pouches. They're great to put in suitcases or in your pocket if you're going somewhere all day and you know you're not gonna to get to your supplements. So those for sure I will buy. So here's the final rating. Price, seven. Performance, seven. Staying power, seven. That equals an overall score of seven. Okay, I'm gonna end this review here. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. It means a lot to me and also helps me get out to more viewers that I don't know, which makes me really, really happy. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like. It's kind of a little bonus. And follow me on Instagram at KurtFitFi where I post at least twice a week on other things fitness. I'll see you on the next one.